My name is Mitchell Soltis, and this is a quick introduction to animating with Anime Studio Pro, or as it is called now, Moho. I am considering creating a full course on Udemy, but there are already some courses there, and right now I just wanted to create an introduction. This video will be posted on my YouTube site, and so it's just a very quick introduction for those who are brand new to animating with Anime Studio or Moho. In this particular case, I'm going to actually be using Anime Studio 10 with my new character, Harold. The point of this is really to show you that the characters do work with the older versions. Um, if you look, we have the eyes can be opened and closed. Um, we can change the brow positions, move them up and down. We can do a head turn, but in Anime Studio 10, the technique of bone flipping was not present, so if we use the smart bone control, that won't work. So if you're actually using Anime Studio uh, 10, you should go ahead and delete that bone if you want uh, by clicking on that bone and pressing delete. The same thing is true for the body turn. Now you'll still be able to animate the character. You just won't use the smart bone controls for the head turn and body turn. Instead, the way that you do it in Anime Studio 10 is you actually select the layer you're going to use layer flipping. And so to uh, flip the entire body, I would select Herald, select the layer tool, then flip the layer. If I want to flip his head, I would select the head layer, and again select the layer tool, and flip his head. In Anime Studio 10, if you flip the head by flipping the layer, something that you may notice if you actually are going to animate the eyes is the control bones for those eyes are offset, but it will still work. I would click on the bone layer, then click on the manipulation tool. Specifically I want to select this tool with the curved line underneath it. Then I want to grab the center bone, but something you want to pay attention to if you're new to Anime Studio or Moho, underneath here there's a helper explanation and notice it says Alt to force translation and so that's what I want to do. I'm going to press Alt and I can now move the eyes and I can select the manipulation tool and move his head in control with the smart bones and everything works as it should. Now here's another quick tip for those that are new to Anime Studio or Moho. Underneath help there's the edit keyboard shortcuts. When I hover over the tools I may not see what is this tool. I don't know what it's called. So you can go to edit sh keyboard shortcuts and a menu will come up. Now, unfortunately, uh, because of the screen capture here, you can't see it too well, but you can click on scroll to, and you can move down. It will say tool groups, and here I'm selecting bone, and it will immediately scroll to the area I need. And now you can see the different um, tools, select bone, transform bone, and here are the keyboard shortcuts. So that's one way that you can know what these tools are. Another thing that you may notice is that I have my tools undocked. And that's controlled underneath window docking. So if I select tools here, it will dock it over to the left hand side. And that's probably the way that it is for most of you. You may also notice that I've got a other tool. Anime Studio, or Moho, has the ability to create your own scripts, your own little pieces of software that make the tool do what you want. And you can get those from many different people. So if you're working in Anime Studio or Moho, um, how do you learn how to do things? When you first start, you may find that this software is incredibly complex. It's easy to use, but there's just lots and lots of things that you can do. So if it's not obvious, go to the help and select tutorials. I strongly recommend that you work
work through the tutorials. So just click on that button and it'll bring up a, a page that takes you to all these in-depth tutorials. Another thing that I very strongly recommend is going to the community forums. On some software, the community forums are not that great, but for Moho, the community forum is great. So just go to the help and select community forums. And that will bring you to the Moho forum. Uh, I'm known as Strider2000 on that forum. And as you can see, there are lots and lots of posts where people ask all different kinds of questions. And there are some incredibly great animators and helpful people that will just answer whatever question you might have. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is that I started out by showing Anime Studio 10, and in particular this is Pro 10, but that was only to demonstrate that my characters work there. Each version of Anime Studio, or now called Moho, adds many great new features. Here's the same file brought up in Moho 12. If you don't like the color scheme, you can change it under Edit, Preferences, and the Appearance. Unfortunately, they don't have themes anymore, but uh, this is a different approach to that. And what they do is you can just, by changing the brightness and changing the highlights, you can get whatever styling that you want. Two last things that I'll show with Moho 12 that are really nice when you're working with a, a large number of characters or complex rigging. The first one is on the timeline. Uh, the zoom in and zoom out keys uh, have a little different shape to them, uh, but it's really nice for the zoom out. As you zoom out, these uh, keys become very easy to work with and you can move along the timeline to work with them. Spe specifically, I like uh, the size of these uh, keys. Now I've zoomed out to show you, um, because I've got colored bones to help with the animation, if I look at the timeline, it can look very full. Now the only ones that I really care about are the ones um, that are a white color, and this is all of the bones and the red color, which is the currently selected bones. Now, over time, I may be interested in a particular colored bone, but uh, the thing that I wanted to show is if we go to View and look at Timeline Channels, you can select which things, all of the different channels, whether they show up or not. What you want to see and notice, let's look at the colored bones, you can select all, none, or all auto. And if we have here, if it's plus, that means it's turned on. If it's minus, it's turned off. And if it's a zero or a circle, it means it's auto, which means if there is a keyframe, show it up. So for example, let me click on the orange here and click apply. And you'll notice that the orange bones show up even though there's not any keyframes. If I select auto though, they don't show up because there was no keyframe. Let's look at this purplish colored. It's turned on right now. Kind of looks pink a little bit on the screen, but it's supposed to be purple. Here's, here's the pink. If I select auto here, notice these will still stay there because there is a keyframe there. But I can turn them off if I want by selecting apply. So if you don't want the colored bones to show up, you can just turn them off. And here I've selected off for all of them and select apply. And so now we have only the bones that I'm interested in. The next thing to show is this little search box. If I click it on drop down, we've got no filter, we've got all different kinds of filters. And here I'm just going to use name contains. And when I type in here, and typical situation is I may want to animate bones, but then I also may want to animate the mouth. And so I'm just going to type in the word mouth there. And when I do, very nicely, Moho shows me uh, the con containing folders, but it also goes all the way down to the ones that are, have the name mouth. So it's the labels of the um, layers 
in your character are well named, you can find them very easily. And in this particular case, it's very easy for me to see what's happening with Sid right now in his bones. And here we see Sid is moving, and we have his animation going on right there. But I can also just click on the mouth, and now I can see when he starts to talk. So notice his mouth isn't changing now, but there it is where he starts talking. And I can select the mouth by right-clicking, and then select whatever uh, mouth shape I want him to have, say the big smile. With the debut version of Anime Studio, or now Moho, uh, you can do the animation with these packs and with any created character content. And the price is really good. The price for the pro version is, is quite a bit higher, but it's worth every bit of it. You may have to save up your pennies like I did, so you may not be able to get it, at, get it as soon as it comes out, but it is a very powerful program and they always have great features that they add. Sometimes I've wondered if the upgrade was worth it, but every time I've upgraded I've been really happy. So I hope this uh, very, very quick intro has been helpful to you.